Let's, uh, let's explore this some more, huh? Let's do that. So here is the chart. The infamous Norwood. Norwood's classification of male pattern alopecia. All right. So as you all know, for years, I had misdiagnosed myself as a Norwood 3. And thanks to one of my viewers, they made a video called Nick Shell the 2, and they helped me realize, really, my hairline is more like this, but I do have some thinning. I have some thinning up, up in here and a little up here, some. You may not even be able to see it in this video, but I've got some. So ultimately, I am a Norwood two and a half. I'm between this and this, but with some thinning. I thought that was me, but you can tell if I turn this way, my forehead is not that big. It doesn't go back that far. And that's really what kind of sold it for me. I've got too much hair still up here and, and even on the temples for that to, for that to be me. And what I was doing, you know, and, and we can say this, I don't, I don't feel uh, too vulnerable to say it. I'm sure a lot of what I was saying in videos was based off of a defense strategy, you know? Just like I always say, if someone's gonna insult you, beat them to it. If they're gonna say, hey Nick, I noticed in your videos you've got astigmatism, that the one eye doesn't move the same as the other. And I'll be like, yeah, I'm kind of cross-eyed, especially when I get tired, I, I, I get cross-eyed, you know, deal with it. I, I joke back with them, right? But I think for me, I was wanting to go ahead and be prepared for Norwood 4. So I was getting ready for this. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's actually, this is actually Norwood 4, according to the chart. And, you know, just months ago, I was saying to you on these videos, yeah, I'll, I've accepted that I'm going to be Norwood 4 by the time I'm 40. Now, now, this is January. In April, I'll turn 37. So I'm like a little over three years away from turning 40. It's safe to say that that's not going to be me in about three years. Or even that in three years might even be a stretch. And that's a true Norwood 3, right? Or that's the Norwood 3 vertex. I don't know at what point this is going to be me. But I had not only misdiagnosed between Norwood 2 and 3, but perhaps even more relevant to my story in my videos, I had misdiagnosed between Norwood 3 and 4. That's Norwood 4. Look how far that goes back. I mean, that nearly connects to, to the balding spot in the back. And in reality, yes, it's thinner up here, but... And it's thinner back there, but as far as like a true balding spot, it's not. So, and I know, I mean, everyone can kind of go back and forth on how relevant and true these charts are. But Norwood's classification of male pattern and alopecia, I mean, this is it. You can, when you, when you look at it, even on my worst day, I'm not that. Even on my worst day. Now, in closing, just to prove to you, now, granted, my hairstyle has something to do with it, but we can lift that up. And if we're going to say, okay, then this is me, I don't know. I'll let you be the judge, but if this is Norwood 3, let me just, that's Norwood 3, right? So it, as you see that, like, oh, well, I don't know, Nick, maybe, maybe you are, Nick then have me turn to the side and keep that in mind. If this is Norwood three, that means the, the, the furthest back point there is almost kind of going over my ear. All right. So let's see if that's the case. So you can tell though, this part is still like right here. It's not going back to my ear. Yeah. It comes back a ways, but it's, it's not the same. And I think that's what's helping me realize that I'm not, I'm not a three. It may look like it here, but when you look here, it's not. And so maybe if nothing else, we could say, well, what's keeping me from being a true neuroid three is that my temples haven't received, receded far back enough. Maybe here, maybe I am. And maybe this would have to go more before I could truly get to that point. I mean, ultimately, I guess in the end, it's still up for discussion. And whatever people say in the comments is always going, that, that perception of reality is always going to play into it to a certain degree. 
but I think I'm currently fascinated by how wrong I think I was misdiagnosing myself thinking that I was just a couple years away from this or definitely this and that I was already this when in reality I was worse than this but not this bad yet but this is my perception of reality my perception of reality is not necessarily reality life is a collaborative experience it's a collective experience collective soul collective soul a band from the 90s they had songs before you were born you get to help ultimately determine my neurowood status yeah that's quite a lot of forehead and yes it's gone back a ways but you can see it it's furthest point if i turn sideways and this is norwood three Look at that. It's basically right there, getting close to his ear, to where his ear would be. And that alone, I think, proves that I'm just not quite there at Norwood 3 yet. But this would be a cool hairdo, huh?